then, as you guys can see, I have uh, uh, changed scenery. Yes, I have. Um, I actually just made a little, <laughs> a little, I would call, makeshift studio here. Um, but needless to say, that's not important. How are you guys doing? I'm coming to you guys to say happy holidays. OMG. Oh my gosh. And guys, look, I have a new color. Oh my gosh, guys. Let me get up close so if you guys can check it out. Um, it's supposed to be honey blonde. It's a honey blonde color, okay? I don't know if you guys can see me clearly. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see. But it's supposed to be honey blonde with, um, at the back of it, I actually left my natural color because I wasn't too sure about how it was going to come out. I didn't want it to be overpowering. I didn't want it to be, you know, out of control, like really bright. But initially, I wanted it to be extremely bright. I'm glad that it came out like a cinnamon kind of a color at first because I was really scared, okay? I told you guys, I'm at the point right now where I was getting extremely bored with my hair and it was either I was going to cut the whole thing off because I would like, I like the excitement of having short hair and seeing how long I could grow my hair. So for me, it was a rush of, a, you know, like a rush and adrenaline. So I was contemplating if I was going to cut the whole thing off again because I needed some excitement or I'm, am I going to color it? So this is what I did, guys. It did not change my curl pattern. As you guys know, my hair had, my hair, you know, is recovering as well from heat damage. Um, in August, I, you know, I had heat damage. And, um, yeah, hair is just hair, guys. It is not that serious. It's time for me to start having fun with my hair. So, um, all of you guys that are out there who are probably like, oh my god, she colored her hair, she's no longer natural. I am still natural. I do not have a relaxer in my hair. Um, this is a, you know, a lot of people, I know a lot of people are going to comment and they're going to say, oh my gosh, you're not natural anymore because you put a chemical in your hair. Don't come for me, okay? Um, sweet honey child, I'm going to need you to pump your brakes, unsubscribe, do whatever you need to do. But um, like I said, a lot of people tell me that I get bored with things quickly because I'm a Gemini. I don't know. I don't really follow up on those things. I don't really care. But I like excitement in my life, okay? Love excitement. And I need change every now and then. I was really getting tired of that black. So I'm going to turn so you guys can see. This is the side. This is the back. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. The inside came out much lighter. You know, the I actually it was my first time ever dyeing my hair um by myself. So I didn't want to put it too close to my roots because I wasn't too sure of how it was going to come out and I was very scared of getting that like albino hairline where it's like your hair is extremely bright and it's like blending in with your complexion. I didn't really want that look for my first time, but because I love the way it came out, when I do it again, I'm definitely going to make sure I get close inside of the roots because I really like the way that came out. I love it. So that's what it looks like. Showed you guys the full color. Um, it's really, really soft. It's extremely soft. I'm going to make sure that I deep condition a lot because I really, really... I deep condition, but I wasn't doing it that much. So I'm now I'm going to make sure that I deep condition at all times. What I usually use is the Organics Hair Mayonnaise. When I deep condition, I use this and I sit under the dryer for a little bit of time, you know. But um, what I use is the textures, textures and Tones. This is the Honey Blonde. It was supposed to come out that color. So I believe, according to the box over here, I don't know, it's, to me it looks like that. It's not even that light, according to what they say it's supposed to look like. But um, when I do it again, I'm planning to probably go back and color it again so that it could get the desired color. 
which is a honey blonde, like an orange. I'm going for like an orangey, honey blonde type of a look. Hopefully when I do it again, probably like in a month or two, when it's growing out a little bit, I'll probably get the color that I want. Because some people say when you use a box color, it takes about two times before you can finally get the color that you like. So that's what I'm hoping will happen. Um, but overall, I love it. As you guys know, when I wash my hair, I always use the Humectant Moisture Conditioner. And I get this from Kmart. Kmart sells it in this size. I like this size because it lasts a long time. That's what that looks like. And then, as you guys know, I, oh my gosh, I just spilled all of my oil, like, on my couch. I'm so upset. This oil, I love. It's the Jamaican Mango and Lime Oil. This is what I've been using as well to put on my hair. I also use my Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I don't go anywhere without this. I just don't. I'm so mad, I just wasted all, like, a lot of my oil is, like, on the couch right now. Oh my gosh. Yes, I am just rubbing it in my hair, because it's not gonna go to waste. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. Those are my products that I'm, I've been using, and I need to go pick up some coconut oil. Cannot be without my coconut oil now, especially that my hair is dyed. Um, so yeah, that's the new scoop, guys. I needed some change. It's 2013, like, in a couple of weeks. So it's time for change. Also, I wanted to show you guys this new product. As you guys know, I have eczema, and I've been suffering horrendously. Um, if you look at my previous video, my face looks a bit blotchy and a bit crazy. That's because of my eczema. So I finally went to the doctor because they've been giving me stuff that just has not been working. And I realized the steroid um, cream, the steroid ointment that they give you for your face can cause pimples and acne. So that's what I was dealing with. Like I would have a lot of like, I have eczema and then on top of the eczema you have acne and it's just a bad situation. So I've been using this product right here. Let you guys take a look at that. And this is a box of samples. I haven't actually purchased it yet, but if you go to your dermatologist, they're going to give you samples, and they look something like that. It's a little tube, and it's a gel, but it looks like, an, it looks like a cream. And you rub it on your face, and um, it's actually been doing wonders because my face is looking better. Because... What it is, is I'll have, I have eczema, and then with the eczema, I'll have breakouts, which will look like I have rosacea, on top of, like, pimples. It's just a bad situation. So, I've been doing this um, two times a day, nighttime and morning time, and you can also use this underneath your natural moisturizers. Um, it's a great product. So far, I've been using it for two weeks. I don't know if that's too early to say that I like it, but... It helps with my itching and I realize like my face flares up if the heat is too high you know if I'm in a place and it's just way too hot and humid when I'm at work it's just way too hot or if I have the heater on in my room it's just way too hot so yeah that's what I just wanted to come to you guys with an update so it comes in a box like that check it out um, when you go to your dermatologist and let me know if you guys like it take care